It's weird. Ever since that paper view came off, I've been smelling bullshit. Ugh. All right, let me just start off with the pre-show, where we had Kane versus Zack Ryder. Kane versus Zack Ryder, like I said in my predictions video, should have been the main event. But whatever, you had Kane winning. Not too surprising. Then we had, I actually got the text message before the, the pay-per-view about them having a battle royal, which when they were coming out during, the, or at the end of the pre-show, I was saying to myself, are they going to try to like bullshit this battle royal now and have it be like five minutes long during the pre-show? But no, they awkwardly have the pay-per-view start with them already fighting, which was weird. I'm like, this is the way you start your, your pay-per-view, but okay. Christian... The returning Christian wins the Battle Royal. It was between him and The Miz last. As the winner of the Battle Royal would get the choice to face either Santino Morella for the US title or Cody Rhodes for the Intercontinental title. And it's not like I wanted Christian to just come back first night and go for like the world title, but I think it's a pretty step lower in the lower direction for him to just automatically now go for one of these belts. Next was the WWE Tag Team titles, Kofi Kingston and R-Truth versus Jack Swagger and Dolph Ziggler. Truth and Kofi won. I, I mean like, whatever, I didn't really care. The match was okay, but I'm more, I think, pissed that Dolph Ziggler is in a tag team title match. And he, and he gets pinned in the match. It's like, I don't know. I'm starting to get sick and tired of hearing myself complain about Dolph Ziggler <clears throat> and wanting him to be in main events or better matches. I'm sick of myself saying that shit, but okay. Divas title match, Layla versus Beth Phoenix. I usually say that I don't give a shit about Divas matches, but this one wasn't that bad. You know, it wasn't that bad. Layla definitely has gotten better since she's been injured for the year and came back. She's definitely got better in the ring. I liked how she just did that neck breaker out of nowhere. It was surprising because I didn't think for a little while that she was going to beat Beth, but she won. Then you had the four-way match. World Heavyweight title, Sheamus versus Alvaro Del Rio versus Chris Jericho versus Randy Orton. And this was probably the only match on the card where I didn't know who would win, where I was actually like, I don't know who's going to win. I mean, I, I didn't think Alberto was going to win, but it was really back and forth. Or even back, back, and back between Sheamus, Jericho, and Orton. I thought I could have went anyway. Sheamus got the win. I think I'm more surprised that Sheamus pinned Jericho, though. I think he should have pinned Alberto because Jericho, since Jericho's come back with the with the big build up and the whole end of the world shit, he hasn't. I don't think he's won one pay per view match. He came back first pay per view. He lost the Royal Rumble to Sheamus. No way out. He lost the elim or no elimination chamber pay per view. Because no way else in the next month. They're finally bringing that back. Thank God. But <clears throat> the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view, he lost the Elimination Chamber to CM Punk. WrestleMania, he lost to CM Punk. Extreme Rules, he loses to CM Punk. And tonight, he gets pinned by Sheamus. Wow. Some return for Jericho. He, he's losing all the fucking time. At least in important matches. But I am glad Sheamus won because Orton... I didn't realize until they mentioned that Orton was going to be a 10-time champion if he won. I'm like, fuck... He's getting into Cena territory with these belts, like, too many times, you know? So, Sheamus, keeping it, I think, is the right way to go for now. Then we had a bonus match. The Miz, again, Miz twice in one pay-per-view. And uh, After all that, uh, you know, Miz losing all the time, now he gets two spots in the pay-per-view. And, of course, he fights Brodus Clay. I can't, I can't scratch the surface enough on how how sick I am of Bros Clay and how I just don't care. I wish the fans wouldn't, it's not like they're cheering that loud for him, but they're still giving him reaction. Obviously reaction enough for WWE to still be pushing this guy, to still be putting him on pay-per-view every fucking month. I don't know. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of Bros Clay. I, I don't think he's entertaining. I don't think the music's funny. I don't think his character's funny. I don't like the girls. I don't like anything about him. He can't fucking wrestle. He does the same, same shit all the time. The Miz, before the match, doing the dancing was the most entertaining fucking part of that match. I don't know what, what dance Miz was doing, but it was pretty fucking funny. Then you had, because Christian overheard Cody Rhodes talking to Eve and basically talking shit about Christian. So Christian changed his pick to Cody Rhodes in the Intercontinental title. So you had that match. That was a decent match. 
a little bit surprised, especially when at the end of it, Cody went into this like rant about how he's 26 years old and he's better than half the guys back there. And he's sick of being jerked around. So now I'm like, is he? Is he like? Is he having a meltdown right now? And then all of a sudden, Christian hits the I'm prettier or the kill switch, whatever you want to call it, and he wins. Christian's the new Intercontinental Champion. I'm surprised. I am. First night back, he wins the Battle Royal, wins that belt. I'm su I'm more surprised that Cody lost the belt. And I, I like Cody, but I do think it's good for him to lose the belt because hopefully he can move on from that. Hell, he could fight Sheamus for the world title at No Way Out or something. Or in the future. I'd like that. Alright. Uh, the following is where I start to get pissed off because you had the WWE title match. Sam Punk versus Dan Bryan. Not only was it the best match of the night, not only was, first of all, the build-up of this match really shitty, the only like time you heard them really talk about this match was when Daniel Bryan did commentary on SmackDown, and then when CM Punk did the interview earlier in the night, and CM Punk was talking about how they used to wrestle each other in the independents, and how Vince McMahon, if you asked him 10 years ago that this would be the main event for the WWE title, he would have said, What? Who are those two? You know. Which is funny. And it's true. Uh, so I wholeheartedly believe that CM Punk versus Dan O'Brien should have been the fucking main event of the show. You shouldn't have fucking John Cena and John Laurinaitis as the main event. Fucking makes no sense. It's retarded. It's stupid. CM Punk versus Dan O'Brien. Great match. Back and forth. Like some of the best technical wrestling that I've seen all year. Never mind just this one show. But... <clears throat> I think I would have liked the ending better if Punk tapped out as the referee counted three instead of, like, he waited so long after the referee counted that I didn't know if that was on purpose or if they just wanted to prove the point to say that, yeah, Punk won, but a few seconds later, maybe Brian could have won. I don't know. Maybe they'll do a rematch between them, and I, I wouldn't mind it. Hopefully then the build up for that next match will be better and they'll fucking actually get a chance to fucking talk on Raw instead of having John Laurinaitis fucking but even though he won they're he's probably gonna be fucking talking all the time, but I don't know. Another bonus match, Ryback versus Camacho. Ryback wins, really. Who cares? One on one match, John Cena versus John Laurinaitis. Okay, so what we have for the main event is not only were the fans not into the match, not only do I not give a shit about John Laurinaitis, but John Cena tried so hard to be funny, tried so hard to get people to like him during this match and the fact that he was beating up Laurinaitis that it just didn't work. I'm sorry, but hitting the ring bell next to his ear doesn't do anything for me. Pouring water over him, three bottles of water over him, doesn't do anything for me. Sitting him up next to you on commentary and doing some routine on Michael Cole and Booker T wasn't funny and doesn't do anything for me. I'm sorry Cena, I don't know if you think you're funny, I don't know if someone told you that that would be funny, but whatever happened, it didn't fucking work. Don't ever do that shit again, especially not on a fucking pay-per-view that you pay 45 or whatever fucking bucks I paid for this shit. That could, if they really wanted to have that match so bad, they could have had it on Raw. Seriously, they could have had it on Raw. But no, they make it the fucking main event of the pay-per-view. Yeah, because that was the biggest promoted hype match of, of, of tonight. Lauren, like, all you had was Lauren Ice running rampant on Raw and then and then for some random reason he he made the match against himself and Cena. It's like why why did they do that? I know what you're thinking, oh Steve Austin and Vince McMahon were were the main event at St. Valentine's Day Massacre in ninety nine. So what's the difference here? Well the difference here is that they built up Austin and McMahon's feud for over a year and a half before they had that one match. So you had a year and a half of build-up, which, which is why that deserved to be the main event. This, this feud started three weeks ago. It should not have been the main event of the pay-per-view. Simple as that. Not enough build-up. No one cares about Lauren Ice because he really hasn't been in charge for that long. People don't even like Cena, so him trying to be funny during this match doesn't do anything for anyone. And 
the match wasn't the match didn't live up to anything. It wasn't like when Austin beat the holy shit out of Vince, fucking threw him off the cage, and like threw him against the cage, like really beat the shit out of Vince in that match. And then you had Big Show basically do the same thing he did in this match, come out and try to interfere. So the match was so shitty, so fucking shitty. I just I can't get over how bad that match was. Until finally you had Big Show come in, which you could have saw this a mile away because of the fact that he was fired, that he wasn't on the roster. Big Show comes out, pretends like he's going to do something to Lorna Ice, but then he punches Cena and Lorna Ice wins. Wow. I mean, I'm not going to lie, I'm not pissed that they had Big Show do that because I do actually like when someone turns heel. Even though I saw it 10,000 miles away, I appreciate that they tried to do a, a shocking moment. It didn't work, but... Or it didn't work for me, but if anyone was surprised and <clears throat> they did their job, it's just the match was so shitty that I didn't care by that point. Maybe that was why. Maybe it's because the match was so shitty that I didn't care by that point that Big Show did what he did. Um, Raw's ratings have been so low the last few weeks that you would think they'd want to fire Lauren Ice and change things up a little bit. But no, they're going to keep Lauren Ice as the boss because they think, for some reason, WWE likes Lauren Ice in charge. They like him being more involved. Why? I don't fucking know. I don't see anything about him. Like, and I don't even mean it like I dislike him because I don't. I don't care. I don't care about Lorne Ice. He's not He doesn't. He isn't. Like I have no. He's boring. His voice is annoying. He's a like he's horrible on mic. He fucks up every time he talks. Like I just. I just don't care about him. So. Yeah, we're going to have another probably few months of him being in charge, which is going to be, yeah, great. Raw in July on their 1,000th uh, episode. Yeah, they're going to start being three hours every week. Wow, can you imagine the train wreck that's going to start being? Three hours every week? I remember when I thought WCW did this, the most dumbest thing that they ever could have done was make Nitro three hours. And that is why they had low ratings and why they ended up going out of business. So what does WWE do? Let's do the same mistakes that WCW did and make our used to be number one show three hours every fucking week. Wow, because you have enough material to go three hours. You can't come off of Rock and Cena at WrestleMania. Rock, I'm sorry, Brock and John Cena main event of Extreme Rules and then John Cena and John Lauren Ice. Like, that's how you know it's going downhill. If if it wasn't for the potential Triple H Brock Lesnar match, this, you'd have nothing to look forward to in WWE right now. Really. You have guys like CM Punk and Daniel Bryan and, hell, even Sheamus, the only guys who are really trying to put on good matches. And, but the main event ends up being John Cena and Lauren Ice. I read online someone say something that was actually pretty funny and true is that. John Cena, three pay-per-views in a row where he's the main event and he's not even the champion. Wow. He said they should just get rid of the world title and have wrestlers fight each other for the opportunity to face Cena at the pay-per-view. That's more of a prestigious thing to win. It is for Because if you're going to fight Cena at a pay-per-view, it's going to be the main event. So you might as well get rid of the world titles. The world titles don't mean shit. It's fighting Cena. That's the real main event. That's the real big thing in WWE now is fighting John Cena. Anyways, guys. Uh, you know, I didn't hate the show. It sounds like I fucking hate the show. I have to say this sucks. It sucks. Not really looking forward to No Way Out. Really not. They need, they need to come back fucking hard and strong. And I don't mean have... Triple H and Lesnar happened this early. I still want to save it for some reason, but they need a, they need something, cause this pay per view didn't cut it. You should have had Daniel Bryan and CM Punk the main event. But anyways, guys, I've talked for far too long, so thanks for watching and let me know what you thought of the pay per view. See ya.